We have Chief Patriots, Thursday Night Football. It's the National Football League on EA Sports. And we've got history in this battle of AL alumni. It's the Kansas City Chiefs and the New England Patriots on Thursday night. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League brings us to the Bay State in Massachusetts. Welcome to Gillette Stadium in Foxborough. We are bundled up. This should be a fun one. So glad you're here with us. Mike Tirico, Greg Olson. Greg, we love watching and throwing snow games. But you played weather like this. What's it like? Oh, man, there, there is nothing better. Kind of brings you back to your roots and having a snow day, a day off of school. And just get all your buddies in the neighborhood and just go play outside. But in all seriousness, it actually really benefits the offense. I mean, people always are questioning the passing game and whatnot. The offense knows where they're going, going in. It's, it's on the defense, defense to react, and that's where the footing, and that's where the snow really has its biggest effect. I think today, for both teams, advantage offense. We are about set for some football, and Joey Sly to kick things off. And through the snow flakes, off we go here on the A Sports. Nice job by the return team as he takes it across the 30 yard line. The Chiefs, the Chiefs come out with the face, the face of the NFL. Of the NFL. Patrick Mahomes, Mahomes two-time two -time receiver, receiver MVP, MVP three-time three -time Super, Super Bowl MVP, MVP. just, just in his eighth year, year, best in the best business at the helm of KC, Greg. Greg. There's just There's certain, certain guys, Mike, when they, they take, take the field, the field and they step into the, the hall, hall. The, the other ten players, players they just, they just take, a take a little bit of a deeper breath. breath. So like, man, I'm, I'm glad, glad this guy, guy is on our side. side. And he's, he's certainly, certainly one of them. them. He, just he just brings, brings an element, element of confidence to everybody, everybody else around, around him, not only in the hall, but on the sideline, on the defense, the coaching staff. Everyone is better as a result of him being your quarterback. They just rush that decision just a little bit downfield. I mean, it's one thing to trust your guy to make a play in tight coverage, but I think if he was a little bit more patient in his progression, there was an easier throw out there that wouldn't make him have to throw such a tight window ball and put his receiver in a tight spot. He's going to get that complete. This is Sky Moore. And they'll be set up now. Up past the 40 with that one. I think, I think the defender, the defender thought he had a soft pick here, here like he, he saw, saw that from the, the entire way, way. but unfortunately, unfortunately for him, it was, it was a curl and, and go. go. They, they took, took him deep. deep. Leads to a huge, huge pick. Up. They, they put, put Kelsey, Kelsey in motion. In motion. On first, first down, down, it's Mahomes. Mahomes. And that one's incomplete, but a late flag comes in. Looked like he might have gotten there early. A first set of downs to work with. It is first down and ten. Off the play fake. Mahomes. Oh, damn it. Into the hands of Moore downfield. Big play for KC, and even 30 yards. Well, they've come out swinging here on this opening drive through the air, and that's exactly what they wanted to do. Generate some early chunk plays and try to get some points. Ball down to the 16-yard line. First and 10. That's about four. Throwing again, it's Mahomes. And he can't hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. What a good job defensively to beat him just as the ball was arriving. And it'll be second down. Travis Kelsey, the intended target. And it'll lead to a second down. They put Kelsey in motion. Mahomes now to throw again. Give it a turn. Oh, yeah. Take it in. Middle of the end zone. DeAndre Hopkins. Touchdown, Chiefs. 
And that is the way to start a game. Not just score, but great. Score quickly. A nice opening drive for the first six points. Well, it seems like the hour spent on that opening game strip was time well spent. I mean, to take the ball right down the field that quickly right out of the gates. That's a pretty good opening drive in an early six points. Harrison Butler now for the extra point. These kicks are not a given in the snow, but this one is good. And the Chiefs will take a 7 nothing lead. 7-0, man. It is 0 5, 0 6. For the Chiefs, try it. The Patriots who lost to the Seahawks. And done the feed. So now it's Bucker following the touchdown to send this one away. Two and one. A safe kick taken at the five. And he's down at the 23, and that's where the offense. We'll take over. We're going to time the time of this league. The offense getting ready to go to the line. They're going to be led out by the veteran, veteran single, single caller, caller out of NC State. State. It's, it's Jacoby Brissett. Whenever he comes in the game, you know exactly what you're going to get. He may not be one of the ultra-talented superstars or anything like that at the quarterback position, but he's a reliable presence in the huddle, he brings a lot of stability to this role, and he's capable of doing his job well and more than giving your team a fighting chance. Play fake to Stevenson, now for Sessa. That'll be complete to Gibson. And he'll get about eight on that one, with most of it coming after the catch. It's second down. So you come back out here after watching the opposing team score first, and what you want to do is you got to establish a little early rhythm and get the drive started. Get a little positive energy into that huddle, and what hopefully starts out good ends with you being able to get some points of your own. Yeah. That should be Hold on for the ball. It's his way forward to pick up a first down. Sometimes, Mike, the best plan is also the simplest plan. And for this team, just snap the ball to your quarterback, let him find some daylight, and go get that first down himself. From the 34 now, it's first and 10. They'll run, and this is Ramondre Stevenson. And a good run there. Gonna get him five yards. They'll break the huddle. It's second and five. Working out of the gun. Here's your set. First down. It is false. One of the easiest ways to negate these really good pass rushes in the NFL, Mike, is just to simply get the ball out of the quarterback's hand as fast as possible. Sometimes it's by design, sometimes it's based on need. Really nice job there by the quarterback getting into the hands of his receiver and then see what he can do after the catch. Come for seven, I thought a ball was there. I thought it was George oh, Carlos, oh, the former oh, in there for The best thing they did here, Mike, is keep their rush lane integrity. What that means is you have to rush the quarterback as a unit. Keep him in the pocket. Keep him on that X. And when you do, man, he becomes a sitting up for this pass rush. Work to do now as they come up on second and long. Ooh. Operating from the gun as we're set. Taking a shot for Smith. That's money. That's money. That's money. That's money. And he will score. Juju Smith-Schuster. Touchdown. Look at a snow angel on his back. A beautiful combination in the air there. Juju Smith. Bringing it the rest of the way into the end zone for a touchdown. And it's really just a great route, Mike, and then a beautiful throw. The accuracy of the throw is what allowed the receiver not only to secure the catch, but then be able to turn it up and finish the play and find himself in the end zone.
Joey Sly on now for the point after. Through the snow place, this one good. And the Pats come right back to tie it at seven. Team one possession, each team a score. Seven to seven as they kick it off. But dangerous Nicole Hartman on the return. And he'll be brought down past the 25. Decent field position to start this drive. The Chiefs off ready now for their second drive. We'll try to break out of this deadlock. We are all even at seven as they start this drive. First and ten. Again, they right, first quarter. They'll start this one with a real seven. tight end look. Here's the third year man, Isaiah Pacheco. It'll take this to about the 28. Jelani Tavai, they're on the tackle. Second down and eight. Once again, it's Pacheco. And he'll move this forward out to the 29 yard line. It was Deep Twice with the tackle that time. Here comes third and six. They put Kelsey in motion. On third down, Mahomes. That's complete. He got it to Hopkins. Remember, he had the touchdown on the opening drive. And here on drive two, he gets a first down with that catch. These third down conversions are just so important. Like everybody stresses, we want to possess the ball. Give our offense as much opportunity to end as many drives as we can, scoring points. So if you want to stay on the field, you better be good on third down. Now Mahomes gives it to Pacheco. And he is going to be stuffed well behind the line of scrimmage. That play going absolutely nowhere. I'm not sure if there's anything more enjoyable for a football player than playing a game in the snow. It's something for us to keep in mind throughout the rest of the day is typically the third the advantage is in the favor of the offense. Know where you're going, you know where the cuts are going to come. The defense has to be able to Can they find a way to take advantage? Only a couple on that one. It'll set up third down. From the gun, here's Patrick. And it's like the lucky. Complete on third down. The most important stat, Mike, to determine wins and losses in the NFL is clearly turnover differential. Your ability to protect the ball and on defense take the ball away. For any offense, that's even more critical when you have the ball on your side of the field. And no return forthcoming. It's a touchback, and will come out to the 20-yard line. The Patriots offense ready to take over for their second possession. All even here in this opening quarter. And the drive will begin with first down. From the shotgun, it's Brissett. With an old shape, I think. Tight end, Hunter Henry. And he'll be brought down up past the 35-yard line. 
Every once in a while, it just comes down to you need somebody in the hole to just make a play. And there wasn't a whole lot fancy here. The quarterback just dumps the ball down the quick underneath completion. And then really, it's the yards after catch that did the rest. And that's what it takes. You're not always going to have the perfect play. You're not always going to dial up the perfect play against the perfect look. Sometimes players need to make plays. And that was a good one there. Off the play fake. Here's Brissett. Here's Brissett. Open man, Demario Douglas. And they get this one across midfield to the 47-yard line. This is clinic tape for any young wide receiver out there watching this guy run routes. He has the defender thinking everything is a go ball. Attack him vertically, and then when you get to your route depth, you stick that foot in the ground, you break in balls on time, results in a nice first down pickup. On first and 10, here's Brissette. That one taken in by Douglas. They'll get him out of the four here as he is taken down. Recognizing the blitz is just the first step in the process for a quarterback understanding who you can account for with the protection and then who you can't account for. That's where your hot receiver comes in. He points to his receiver who the defender they're hot off of. That guy comes, gets the ball out of his hand, and results in a completion. And that's a first down. It will be a game of eight. There's this misconception out there, Mike, that in the NFL, you have to run the same amount of run plays as you do pass plays. As you're seeing in this drive, you can fall on one side of that coin a little bit more as long as you're able to remain effective and efficient. So far, their passing game has dominated here early, and that last pickup leads to a first down. The hole closes quickly. He'll pick up about three. Second and seven. seven. To throw no, is percent. Looking middle there, but it's incomplete. Timing and trust. Critical elements of this quick passing game. If you're targeting the quarterback and not on the same page, it winds up being an incompletion and a wasted down. They need the 24-yard line as they come up for third down. Reset. And on third down, that ball incomplete. Well, not exactly breaking news here, Mike. They got speed on the perimeter that just not a lot of teams in the NFL have. So even though that ball falls incomplete, I think they have to continue to do it, continue to pressure this defense and make them defend the entire field. Because as they're worried about him running by, there is a lot of space open underneath. Slides, pick is good. And the Pats will break our tie and take a 10-7 lead. I think apart from the win, when you talk about kicking in the elements, Mike, I think the snow has to be the kicker's worst nightmare. It's just so hard to have the confidence that when you stick that plant foot, it's not going to give way. So give credit. That was really well done. Joey Sly back out to kick this one away. This taken in at the eight yard line. He'll get this up to the 28 yard line. Nice place for the drive to start. So here comes the KC offense set to take over once more. This one has been tight so far. A field goal separating the two sides. As this drive kicks off with first and ten. Motion man is Rice. Here's Patrick. He'll throw it on first down. Throw over the middle. Brought in by Hopkins. And he'll be brought down, but not before they get this all the way up near midfield. This is what every offense looks to do, Mike. They want to attack the middle of the field. That's the most valuable real estate in football. 
Oftentimes, that's where the chunk plays come. Give it to your receiver on the move and let them do the rest. They put Kelsey in motion. First down throw, Mahomes. That's over the middle and caught by Rice. Come up now for second down and four. Mahomes, out of the pistol, he'll throw. He's got his tight end. That's Travis Kelsey. And they'll whistle him down, but not before it picks up a first down. After a game of seven. Really nice job here by the quarterback, understanding what did he need to pick up a fresh set of down. In this case, that underneath drag route was all it took. Get the ball into the hands of your receiver. Pick up a first down. On the carry, it's Pacheco. And some space opens as he's brought down, following a gain of six. They'll work now on second and four. Catch. That is caught. It is Hopkins. And he's taken down on what should be the final play of this first quarter. One quarter in the books here on a Thursday night. The Patriots out on top. And we're back to Foxborough in a moment. Second and a yard. From the shotgun, it's Mahomes. Oh, what a catch! One hand side into the hands of Hopkins. You can see the eyes of the quarterback. He's trying to push this ball initially downfield, but with the defense doing a good job keeping a lid on the coverage, he's forced to check this ball down to the shallow route. But this is something that they know in the future. If I need a couple yards, they can come back to this play. Off the bootleg, it's Mahomes. He'll drop this underneath to Pacheco. They'll get about four here as he is taken down. All right, so there's really three areas that a modern NFL running back has to excel. Number one, the traditional handoffs. Number two, you have to be excellent and reliable in pass protection. And maybe bigger than all of them, you have to be at least serviceable out of the backfield in the passing. He'll swing one out wide to Pacheco. A very nice open field tackle there. He could not get free. Gains nothing. Really well done here by the defense by executing this zone defense. And they want to be able to pattern read. You're not just going to drop back to a spot and just play like a robot. Based on what the receivers do off the line, the defenders have different rules of where their zones move to. Well, they have Butker's extra point is good, and the Chiefs are on top. It's 14 to 10.
Last play of the game, 14 of 10. We got second quarter. Still playing a little hard, third and not so good. And he'll work this one past the 25 to right about the 28 yard line. So now the New England offense get ready for their next possession. Trail by four, touchdown gives them the lead. Drive begins with first attempt. And he finds some daylight up past the 35 yard line, a pickup of seven. The Chiefs will face the Texans. Second down, down and down three. Oh, and the defense all over this one. They knocked them down and up and down as a loss of two. Sometimes so, uh, you know, I'm starting off with what the command is. I always lose throwing big jump 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 In this case, they keep the ball around. The defense knew it was coming, and they suffer a loss. Third and it's short yardage. It's for second. Run as well. First down. Ten yards on the scramble there. And he picks up the first down. And here's a great example of why the pass rush on third down that it's critical to get home. In this case, he's not able to get to the quarterback. He has extra time to not only escape the pocket, but to turn into a runner and pick up the first down. On the option, they give it to Stevenson. And he's going to be stuck up. Well behind the line of scrimmage. A play going absolutely nowhere. The speed in the get off by the big interior defensive tackle. Mike. I mean, he got through there so fast, he almost took the hand off himself. After the loss of three, it is second and 13. They'll go again here with Stevenson. And he'll be very close to a first down. Won't quite have enough, but now a much more advantageous spot. Very positive returns on that run. I mean, really, the only thing not to like is that they weren't able to move the chains. Do you know what? The way he ran there, I think they go right back to him and see if he has even a bigger carry in it. Third and two. Here's the set. He'll find his tight end. That's Henry. And he will have the first down. The drive will continue after a pickup of eight. Offensively landing a lot of body blows on this drive, Mike. Just the ability to steadily march the ball downfield and remain so efficient, both run and pass. As they continue to wear this defense out, they have to find a way to end this drive with points. Anything short of that would be a bit of a letdown. Now Gibson, and he'll take this forward for about three. It's second down. anticipate a pass, and I think that's what the defense was lined up thinking. In this case, they leave a little too much room on the ground, and the offense is able to pick up a first down. And he can't hang on through the contact. It's incomplete, but what a good job defensively to beat him just as the ball was arriving. And it'll be second down. It's rare to see an offense that finds themselves trailing and say, well, their quarterback's been actually one of their biggest bright spots. Usually that doesn't go hand in hand, so it's a little surprising to see him miss a throw like that on a day where he's completed passes at a highly efficient rate. And he can't get away. They rally to the football on defense and bring him down for no game. A 
couple of uh, third down conversions already on this drive. This one tougher. This is third and ten. Working out of the gun. Here's the reset. Oh my God! What a great On third down. For the most part, he's been very accurate with the ball. I mean, he's completing over 60% of his passes, but because they haven't been able to get any big explosive plays, continue to push the ball downfield, hasn't really translated on the scoreboard just yet. is good. And the Patriots are back within a point. It's 14-13. And I can tell you firsthand, like, when you find yourself trailing in a game, you don't feel very good about coming away with field goals. But in this case, it does get them a little bit closer and cut into this deficit. Joey Sly back out to kick this one away. Hardman now to return it. And he'll be brought down just beyond the 25-yard line. The Chiefs offense getting things in order as they trot out for this next possession. Their lead is just a point as they begin it on this drive with first and ten. Start on the ground with Pacheco. He'll be brought down after a short pickup. Two out of 29. Here's second and nine. Ben in motion is Brown. Mahomes now on second down. That's caught downfield. It's Kelsey. And they will bring him down on the other side of midfield. Nice job there by Kelsey moving the chains. And to think he's in his 12th season, Mike, and he's able to continue to produce at such a high level. You can make an argument he's one of the most popular guys in the entire league. And he's still one of the best players, regardless of position. Here's first and ten. Throwing is Mahomes. Toward the middle, that's caught by Moore. And they'll take this down inside the 35. Well, it goes without saying. You want to play wide receiver in the NFL, Mike. How well can you change directions? How fast can you get your body from one direction to another? And when you can cut like this guy, I'm not sure how you guard him. From the gun, here's Pacheco. He'll push forward here, down to about the 27. Jawan Bentley there on the tackle. Here's a second and six. Throwing from the gun. Here's Patrick. He'll get that one complete to Rice. And he takes it down to the 15-yard line. I'd like to see them do a better job here the rest of the game, Mike, just disguising the coverage from the pre-snap look to the post-snap look. And, and what I mean is, when you have a quarterback at this level, and what they see before the ball's in their hands is the exact same thing they see once they do get the ball, everything is just so much easier for them to process. Change the look, change the coverages, move your safeties, make the quarterback have to process with the ball in his hand. Enviable spot to operate from. Here's second in inches. Throwing is Mahomes. He'll get this complete to Pacheco. 
Not able to stay in. He steps out of bounds, and that'll be a loss of a couple of yards on that one. What they teach these backs is when you catch a check down, immediately try to get vertical. Try to put a hole in the defense coming to rally tackle. So give credit to the defense here. They strung this out and made him go sideways, and they forced him to go so far sideways, he went out of bounds. Yeah. That is caught. And they'll stop him just short of the goal line, but they are going to have enough to convert. It's going to be first and goal. What an impressive drive this has really been, and it's a combination of big plays and third down conversions. Now after that last third down pickup, it's first and goal. They got a chance to finish this really impressive drive and come away with six. That one is the close thing. can hook up there. Completion takes us to the two-minute warning. Another shot from the one on second and goal. It's to the end once more, it's Mahomes. Oh, no, I thought it that. On in. Rashi Rice, touchdown KC. Twenty-one, thirteen. Now, minute and fifty-six Buckaroo seconds the last time this ball game. These kicks are not a given in the snow, but this one is good, and the Chiefs extend the lead to eight. It's twenty-one to thirteen. So now it's Butker following the touchdown to send this one away. This will be returnable for Rager. And he is stopped at the 25. The drive will be in the end. The Patriots offense headed back to take over once more. But deficit in eight as this drive begins with first and ten. Operating from the gun is Brissett. Oh, a man open. He's got him. He's got him. And he's going to take this one all the way. 75 yards. Touchdown, New England. Well, that was a pretty easy touchdown. He was wide open, Greg. Easy chance to close the deal, and they do with a touchdown. And Mike, it just appears to me that just that breakdown defensively, you can't allow a receiver to not only be so open, it's an easy pitch and catch, but then to have the space to operate after the catch to finish that one off in the end zone. Slides off the point, up and good. And the Patriots move back to within one. Following the touchdown, here's Sly to kick it away. This one will take it at the seven. He'll work his way across the 25-yard line. The Chiefs offense and Rasheed Rice set to take over once more. 
They'll start it here with a first and ten. Number 20. Now, Mahomes. Short pass taken in by Kelsey. That's a nice pickup on a first down throw. It's a gain of eight. And this is where the versatility of the tight end position really starts coming into play. Not only do they have to line up with their hand on the ground, but they can occasionally split out in the slot. And man, they're too fast for linebackers, and a lot of times they're too big for defensive backs. Off the play fake, Mahomes. Open man, right side is Kelsey. A gain of 11 on that one. First down, KC. This may look like a simple connection, Mike, just pitch and catch, but I can promise you the amount of time these two guys have spent together on the practice field, in the meeting rooms, just getting on the same page, seeing the game through the same set of eyes, it makes what's pretty difficult seem a lot easier. And he can't hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. What a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving. And it'll be second down. A rare miss for a quarterback that we've seen really come out on fire throughout this entire contest. I mean, his completion percentage, Mike, is well above league average. And frankly, it's really the biggest reason why they find themselves out front. Right back to the air for Mahomes. Oh. No. No. And he's able to gain yardage out of this one before he slides. Now the Chiefs could call the first of their timeouts. Clock stops with a little under a minute to go in this second quarter. Third and six. And in motion is Brown. Mahomes is going to throw here on third down. And that is incomplete. Got to give a lot of credit here to the coverage unit, Mike. There was plenty of time for the quarterback to work through his progression. I thought the protection was actually pretty solid. But at the end of it, there was just nowhere to go. And he had no choice but to just throw that ball away. Here's Matt Arisa now. He's on for the second time. We'll try to get something inside. And no chance of a run back here. This one's going to sail out of bounds. The Pates offense and Jacoby Brissett getting set for their next drive. And he's had things all his way in the first half. Those numbers are sensational. He looks to add to him with another drive here. To throw is percent on first and second. Smithfield. One more than time. After the catch, he goes all the way. 78 yards. Touchdown, New England. And that is number two. Greg, he is off the sub. Kind of started this one. Two quarters and two receiving touchdowns. Mike, this is one of those situations where as a defensive coordinator, you've got to give your group an answer. Because right now, they don't have one for this game. Out comes Slime for the extra point. Through the snowflakes, this one good. And the Pats will open up a six-point lead.
Still in the top of the minute of this first half. We'll see if they can do anything with this kickoff that is coming their way. He'll get this up to the 28-yard line. Nice place for the drive to start. The Chiefs offense can see what they can do in the final minute of this first half. The deficit for six points. A touchdown here would be mighty nice for the offense. See what they can do on this drop. First and ten. Out of the gun, here's Mahomes. Over the middle, that's Kelsey. And he's close to a first down. To gain a nine, nice pitch and catch on first down. Good spot here, second and a yard. Gray is the motion man here. On second down, Mahomes. In trouble, and he's going to be taken down. The Chiefs will use their third and final timeout here. Clock says 25 seconds till halftime. They need eight as they come up for third down. From the shotgun, it's Mahomes. To the left side in the hands of Rice. And he'll be stopped short of a first down, and that will necessitate a call to the punt. Fourth down. Now, as he is in the game, game to start, start the drop. And they're just going to run it here up the middle. And he'll work his way forward to about the 21. So we've come to halftime here in Foxborough with the Patriots on top as we get you down to Florida. Orlando specifically for the coaches just the coachman has our EA Sports. Time report. Okay, okay Michael, thanks very much. much. And with and that, that, we welcome you all into, into our EA Sports, Sports Studios. Studios. This, this is, is the Halftime half Report. report. The, the Patriots, Patriots got, got solid, solid play out of their quarterback, quarterback in that first half. half. That's the Kobe Brissett. He threw a quarter touchdown pass, then two more in the second quarter, a three touchdown half. And he may just be getting started. All right, Coach, thank, thank you. you. The, the snow, snow continuing to fall as we ready ourselves for the second, second half to follow. To Well, this snow not abating at all. If anything, might be coming down a little bit harder as we are underway here in the third. And he'll work this one past the 25 to right about the 28-yard line. 
the Patriots offense and their quarterback ready to go once more. And we show you some of the highlights, and there have been plenty to choose from. Three touchdown passes and some other big time throws as well. Certainly dialed in on top of this game right throughout this one. So they, so they come, come to the, to the line, line for first, first down, down and, and ten. ten. They'll start on the ground with Stevenson. Stevenson. And a short, short pickup pick to about the 30. Here's a second and nine. We'll go right back to Stevenson. He looks forward for maybe a yard. Drew Tranquil up to make the tackle. We're going to turn this up on third and eight. From the shotgun, it's first set. Oh, and they're going to track find a receiver and down he goes this is the stop they talked about this is how they wanted to start this second half and try to get back some of this momentum they lost in the first now can their offense capitalize and take advantage with this possession On fourth down, down, Bryce Barringer out to punt for, for New England. England. Back deep, Xavier, Xavier Worthy. Worthy. Here's, the visitors' here's offense here's trotting here's back here's out for their first involvement here's of this here's second here's half. Here's They'll do so here's with here's first here's and ten. ten. That's complete to Moore on the right side. And he's going to be marked down up around the 33. Similar to a tight end, the slot receiver is often considered the safety blanket. He makes all the difficult catches, tends to be a little bit more around the line of scrimmage, and so far today, he's certainly lived up to that reputation. Here's Patrick. He'll throw it on first down. That's over the middle, and caught by Rice. They'll mark him down up at the 44-yard line. Do a nice job there to move the chains early in this drive, but now as they approach midfield, continue to keep your foot on the gas. Don't get conservative. Don't start sitting on the ball. Cross midfield and go. Anytime you find yourself on your opponent's side of the field, you have to be thinking points. And he's close to another first down as he's brought down just shy of the marker. Well, let's give some credit to the big boys up front in the trenches. They knew that blitz was coming. They held up just long enough that the quarterback could get that ball out safely and results in a completion. Here's second and two. Throwing again, it's Mahomes. Be taken down after a gain of three, but that is good enough for a first down. The receiver he thought he had a nice soft spot in that zone coverage, and he settles down to give a nice target to the quarterback. But the defense had eyes on him the entire time. Secure rally tackle prevents that from turning into a big play. Mahomes from out of the pistol, he'll throw. That's to the former Cardinal and Raven, it's Hollywood Brown. And they'll move this ball way down into the red zone, inside the 20 yard line. Now, so, so far here, here today, putting points, points on the board, on the board certainly, certainly hasn't been a problem, and plays like that are why. 
think about it, Mike. Sometimes you just have to take what the defense gives you and not force something that's not there. And that mid-range pass results in a fresh set of downs. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. Mahomes now to throw again. Look in the middle. He's got Kelsey. They send the tight end in motion. Mahomes looking to throw on second down. Work on the right side, taken in by Rice. From the four-yard line, trying to punch it in. First down and goal. Throwing from the gun. Here's Patrick. Pass to the end zone, but it's incomplete. Travis Kelsey, the intended target. And it'll be second and goal. He's got to find a way to hold on to that one. I mean, you're right on the doorstep of the end zone. And listen, I understand that hit is coming. But guess what? That hit's coming whether you catch it or not. And you get paid to make the difficult catches. And I would classify that one as tough. No, no. You gotta make that catch. Give your team a chance to come away with this drive. It's important. Looking for that final yard. It's third and goal. They'll run with the checkup. A dive, and he's in. Isaiah Pacheco. Touchdown, Chiefs. Oh. So on third and goal, they run it in. Sometimes, Greg, that's four down territory. They didn't need to do it on fourth down. Taking care of it on the third down for the touchdown. Yeah, when you find yourself down here this close, Mike, you have to finish these drives off. I'm with you. I think he was going to get his back. Two shots there to punch it in, but he only needed one. Here's Buck for now for the extra point. He's got it. And the Chiefs have taken the lead by a point here in the third. So now it's Butker following the touchdown to send this one away. Here comes a return from the five. Oh, he's got room past the 30. Nice job on the return. He's down close to the 35-yard line. The home team's offense and the wideout getting set to go once more. But that was it is one as they'll search now for that go-ahead score. Break the huddle coming up now for first and ten. I'll give up the middle to Stevenson. A modest game, maybe two yards. It's second down. carry now for Gibson. He'll get about three, and that's going to lead to third down. Here now, third and five. To throw is Brissett. He'll set up the screen for Gibson. 
And it looks like he's going to have the first down. What great work after the catch to extend the drive. And this is what modern-day running back looks like in the NFL. They want to be able to activate these players in the passing game, no different than they